Hey everyone, Donnie with Paleo Tracks. Yes, I got a new haircut and I'm missing half my beard. Hey, you do what you have to do. It's called love. Anyway, I'm going to go out and do some uh, ptarmigan hunting, see what I can uh, stir up, so stick with me. I think it's going to be a good day. Also really what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys how to clean it out what I've already done is um, I've already opened up its breastplate what you really need to do is you just basically take your fingers like this and just spread open the chest spread open the breast and you will reveal this big nice hunk of meat once that's taken place you can start to see the gizzards and the insides right there just take your finger from here and just start to separate everything you can grab the the uh, wings And you really just rip right down. It can get a little messy, but pull off the feathers, pop off the, the wings. There's one. two. Now all I gotta do is just rinse this out with some water. Essentially that's the breast meat right there. Um, what I'll still do is I'll go through here, put that there, nice and yummy, down and dirty. You can still go off these wings, you can pull the meat off these wings as well, uh, but all the rest is, is insides, is uh, the entrails gut so on and so forth you can use that for bait definitely so i'll hold this <coughs> i'll take these two wings and go have myself a yummy meal so after everything was said and done this is the uh the yield from that uh tarm again you kind of saw me quickly uh clean it out again when you clean any sort of uh, game birds like dove, uh, any sort of chucker or grouse or tarmigan. All you really have to do is hold it uh, with its spine in your hands. Take your two thumbs and just kind of open up that uh, that breastplate, and you'll reveal. Or it's really you're moving the uh, the skin that the feathers are connected to, and you're going to expose all that uh, that breast meat. And if you want, you can go through and um, you know take the wings and get a little bit more meat off of it. But uh, so. I've been kind of uh, cooking these guys and you can kind of see, uh, uh, you might be able to see some of the smoke, but so after you cook it up, Tarmy you saw it was earlier, it was a little bit uh, red and gamey, but after you, you cook it all the way through, it comes out nice and brown, just like this. Mm. Man, it's delicious. It almost tastes like a, uh, like a really good steak, but um, definitely healthier. This is what it's about for sure. Um, there's plenty of them up there. I only need one for today. I should keep me going for the rest of the day, but I got a couple more days out here and uh, I know where they're at. Just enough. Look at that. Perfect. Just perfectly, just cooked it over the fire, roasted on a stick. It was delicious. There's nothing like, um, you know, hunting your own food. And then cooking it over a fire and then uh, actually enjoying it, you know. I think a lot of people uh, detach themselves from this process and this is something that I hold near and dear to my heart, being able to go out and hunt my own food and cook it over fire and eat it. So um, again, I hope you enjoyed. It was kind of a down and dirty video. I didn't really capture much of the hunt just because, you know, it kind of takes away from my hunting experience going out and worrying about cameras and filming it. So I went out, shot it with my bow. Um, I'll see if I can incorporate some sort of photo into this. If not, maybe at the end, but uh, I'm not too savvy with the uh, with the cameras. But uh, all in all, came out on top. Mm. Man, this is good. This is real good. So again, thanks for tuning in. 
Uh, if you like this video, please uh, share it with folks and uh, subscribe and uh, like. Uh, that's what I've been told I'm supposed to do these days. People have been telling me to uh, have people like, subscribe, and uh, share. So do that, and maybe next time I'll bring you out and you can uh, taste some of this yummy, yummy uh, ptarmigan. So see you around. Thanks.